What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody out there is having a blessed day. Also, shout out to anybody that is new to the channel and while you are here, be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. So, as you guys can see right here in the background, we have this black box and this is actually a new sneaker cleaner that's on the market now and it was created by three other YouTubers um, sneaker youtubers as they would say but they came together and came up with a sneaker cleaner for you know other sneaker heads and it's not owned by any you know corporate or anything like that um, I spent my own money on this so I will give my honest opinion on it uh, but this is gonna be in a separate video where I use this on a restoration project so be um, looking out for that that's gonna come very soon and also I do have a package that just got delivered the other day I figured I'll just go ahead and show you guys the sneakers since I have them in my possession. So this is a sneaker that I bought for a friend, helped him cop the shoe, and if you can already tell from the box, got a pair of threes, cool grade threes, and we also do wear the same size, so this is a nine and a half, but I figured I'll just show you guys how they look, and here they are. Cool, great threes. So, this nigger came out, I want to say maybe like two weeks ago now. At least up to the point where I'm recording this video. But, um, this sneaker is, you know, to me, it, it's a nice sneaker, but I can't keep every single shoe that comes out. Now, there is, if it was a slow month and there wasn't any other um, dope sneakers coming out, then I definitely probably would have, like, kept this for personal. But, um, I'm going to pass on this. And, you know, I was able to help a friend out. So, um, whenever I can help people out that especially with shoes that I'm not gonna keep personally you know I figure I'll just throw the assist on them but yeah dope shoe but like I said it's so many other sneakers coming out um, so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna chuck this up to the game and throw that assist to my homie so your shoes is on the way but let's get into the actual shoes that you guys came here for and that is the Air Jordan 4 Taupe Haze I know everybody be calling it Tope, Tope, Topez, Topez. It comes in this like speckled box. Got a whole bunch of speckles on it. Got flight on the top. Um, got my size nine and a half. Retail on it was 200. And I have already undiest these. And here we go. Air Jordan 4 Tope Haze. So to be completely honest, I'm still kind of like on the fence about these sneakers. Now I do love the colorway of them, but this cracked leather is kind of like, it's a little bit different, but I still like the sneaker, like as far as the colorway. So I am actually thinking about taking off the cracked leather and it's just going to be like suede underneath there. So I do have another pair, which is not my size. So if I can get a size swap in my size, then I will consider taking away the materials on here and then I'll probably just do a video so you guys can see how it turned out to be but um, I did switch out the laces these are wax laces and if you are gonna get these laces um, I recommend to get a size 60 size 63 so um, the laces that I got was 54 which is a little bit too short so I can't really tie these in a knot if I wanted to so I just gotta let them sit like this so Either I'm gonna have to order another pair or just take them out and just use the regular black ones that came with the shoes. So these laces did come from Lace Lab. I think they were about like six bucks before shipping and handling. Everybody's calling this the poor man's Travis, which I mean, hey, we still spending money, so you can't be that poor. But um, now I can complete the, the Travis Knot Pack. We finally got it. Travis Knot, here we go. Great value Travis Knot Pack. Um, but like I said, I love the colorway of the sneaker. Um, the only thing that's throwing me off is just this right here, the you know the cracked leather. But you got the jump man on the back, on that brownish colorway. And this is you know usually I don't like the jump man on the on the back, but for sneakers that are not OG colorways, um, I kind of can deal without the you know Nike Air on the back. So I mean this is fitting for a sneaker that's not an original colorway. You got the infrared inside and also on the insole right there. But um, this shoe was very, very hard to get. Um, not like super, super limited, but more limited than what people expected. And I don't know, I feel like 
a lot of people didn't really like them but once they found out that they were kind of limited they wanted them but yeah i've already un dsd so i mean i love them enough to throw them on feet that quick but yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the sneaker i know everybody's probably already got their reviews up i'm pretty late but um still wanted to show you guys um you know the sneaker and give my thoughts and opinions on it but let me know in the comments do you guys think it's a good idea to take the material off would you guys want to see that um yeah drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here be sure to hit the thumbs up button drop a comment down below hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video peace